YouTube. Welcome to the next part of our setup for this uh, co-op, seamless co-op for Elden Ring. I'm joined by uh, Freaky Nasty. Uh, he's a Twitch streamer. Um, also GPS for uh, Elden Ring, I found out. <laughs> but Yeah, I didn't know where a lot of stuff is in this game. Yeah. Um, I've been routing and trying to figure out my own no-death runs, so this has been good continued practice for me. Yeah. And we've been uh, trying this uh, seamless co-op, and uh, yeah, I do think it's very interesting that uh, it's 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 scaled for three and five people. So playing with two people is actually feels like a challenge. So sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> All right, so we are gonna get this grace because we are gonna do Millicent's quest line eventually. Yeah. It's not gonna do it right now. Okay, oops. Uh, mostly because Commander Nile would murder the fuck out of us currently. Yeah. It'd be no contest. Or, not Commander Nile, Commander O'Neill. Right? O'Neill, yeah. Commander yep. Nile is the one in the... In the uh, mountains, tops of the giants, or in that base, yeah. or whatever. Which is canonically his son. Man, we just ma we massacre a family in this game? Jeez. Well, I guess we do. Oh. I guess that's the whole point of the game. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, we... What? Killing everybody who's ever had royal blood. Exactly. Jeez. Or anybody who was ever, like, attached to those people who had royal blood. Anyone who's looked at someone with royal blood. <laughs> Target. Uh, and then, so you want to go underneath of this, because there's that giant up top that we already have aggroed who might throw pots down at us. Yeah. Big flaming blue pots. Uh, is there something we need from this merchant? Oh, here it comes. Boom. This is why we stand behind this so it hits that tree. Yeah. Uh, yes, this is the merchant that has the last pot. Yes, right, to give us six pots. Um, this isn't the last spot. You can get more pots than this, but we just, we only need six. I don't have any money. I have to sell to him first. Oh, yeah. Sell one of these, sell two of these. And then purchase the pot. Oops. Buns are hard. Ah, oh, dang it. I was literally... I needed to do one more of these. Purchase pot. Yes. Okay. And when you're doing these runs, you don't need to pick up all the map fragments. I just do so that when I'm showing other people, or when I look at my map, it's all open. Yeah. It looks good. Easy to show people where things are at. Um, a lot of my strats that I've pulled, I got, obviously, again, I've pulled from speedrunners and from no-hit runners. So... Most of the things that we're doing are adaptations on those runs. Because I'm not quite that hardcore, I'm just trying to do... Yeah, just, you know, casual no-death run, you know. <laughs> it is. It is actually pretty casual. I know, it's still I know. very hard, but... Yeah. I've actually run into a couple of problems along the run. Uh, with whatever weapon I use, it doesn't matter what weapons I use, I keep running into a couple problems. Yeah, I'm sure, I mean, that's the part of the game, the NRG, er, NRG. Oh, RNG. <laughs> RNG, yes. It's a little dils dyslexia there. Okay. Alright, so now we're going to go uh, back to Stormhill Shack. Sorry, we're going to go to Lernia now. Well, first, because we have our Reduvias now, we got oh, somebody we gotta go say hi to. You know, just gonna ask him if he has a cup of sugar for a neighbor. Yeah, that's all. We're just gonna say, what's up? The <laughs> last time we did this, uh, he started flipping and going crazy instantly. <laughs> he almost killed us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was, uh, it was great fun. It's a little scary. 
kind of no death runs even more. Yeah. I want to rest. Oh, it's not dark. I always have to remember that. Oh, yeah, I should probably do that, too. Alright, okay. ready? Yep. One, two, three. Now! <laughs> oh, gosh. Nice. Much cleaner than the last time. Well, we actually got him stuck in here in the corner. Yeah. And we didn't let him heal. Like, I think on our, or the other one, he uh, healed. Sit down. All right, now. Let's go there. And you, the one, the key thing here is that you hold on to Bernal, uh, Bernal's bell bearing. You do not turn it in until after you've gone to the uh, Volcano Manor. Manor. Yeah. Uh, that way, when you turn in his bell bearing, it'll have all of the things he would have if you would have met him later in Volcano Manor. Yeah. I accidentally mentioned it was patches before, but, uh, yeah. I was corrected. And, remind you guys were reminded again. You know. Let's see. I think there's a mushroom up there. Yeah. There is one mushroom. So there's a speedrunner skip here, but, um, I suck at it, and so I die half the time I try to do it. So. Oh, yeah. I've seen that one. We're... <laughs> Did you jump hey. off the edge and go around the edge over to the left of us? Yeah. No, nah, just take the safe way. I, I don't. I don't need to do a speedrunner strat. Yeah. It feels so weird. I like to pick up everything, so <laughs> skipping stuff. I got a shiny addiction. Yeah, we don't need any of that shit though. But it's shiny. It's there. Yeah. Do you pick up every material you see on the ground as well? Sometimes. No. Oh. Yeah, you have known this. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you you play Magic the Gathering with me, so you know, you don't have yeah. a shiny addiction, so. I do. Uh, Past all these things. I missed a mushroom that you got earlier, so I just grabbed one. Whoops. Yeah, that's fine. Definitely don't need this grace, by the way. Yeah. But I like to get it because I don't know why. Yeah. Uh, come in here, say what's up to Thops. Yeah, he like left the uh, academy like right when it was starting to get crazy. He got kicked out for being a squib. Oh, really? Is that the is that what it is? That's the lore. Yeah, he got kicked out for being a squib. He basically sucks at magic, and if you do his entire quest line all the way to the end and you go and figure out what, yeah. the, what spell he created, his spell is worthless. What is it again? I can't remember. It like reflects magic or something like that, but it's not very good. It's like worse than the one you put on your shield. Oh, gotcha. Alright. But that was a man's life work. You know, I gotta throw shade on it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, purchase the lantern, and then that was it. Yep, and then I'm gonna put the lantern on my wheel. Oh yeah, that's right. Actually, I remember that you actually put your uh, you do a couple things. One, you put your uh, physics flask on there, and then yep. Yeah, I thought that was a neat trick. I'm sure you're. Yeah, I'm sure that's just me not knowing about that. Uh, no, I, I put it on there because I like to only have the two pots on my down wheel. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
It's always easier if you run past those guys first. Yeah. So I just I, they get away from it. I'm just a glutton for punishment. I like getting smacked up. Uh, takes a real uh, person for punishment that likes to put, make health regen builds. Oh shoot. Let me rest. Got to reset. Good. I think I was going uh, ham. We got a couple flasks. Oh, Use that. Use that. Alright. Now we gotta go get our invitation. So we are gonna come back to that grace at some point. That's why we sit there. Uh, there's a shortcut up to Raya. Um, right over there. It's just right past the revenue. No big deal. Yeah. And then another little trick if you run into the side of stairs while you leap off your horse, you always land. Bunch of sunflowers, sunflowers. Pick those up. Gotcha. Wait until night time. Go right back over to those rooms we just passed earlier. Um, you can summon a death bird. Run up to the very top, the death bird will then like walk around a little bit. And once we stop, we just throw six holy pots at it. Nice. Uh, are you ready? Yes. Oops. I gotta get used to where it's at now. Okay. Ready? Alrighty. Yep. One, two. God damn it! <laughs> Alright, thanks for the necklace, bruh. Nah, we only do that because we don't want to buy the necklace. Yeah. And then from here, we need to go basically straight west. Do we, we don't. Back. Don't we? Oh, we don't. Okay. Before I'll say we, we don't go back. Raya. Oh, it's right over here. It's a little bit west and south. So southwest. That's right, we're getting the dexterity cheer, not to you. Yep. And one Saint Trina Lily. But they're all kind of sitting around. Oh, ow. Doing cartwheels. And then we can go back over here, so we can kind of get our bearings by the shack. And then from the shack, you always just want to go this way. So, southeast. Again, these big runes right here. You can climb up them, and the, uh, the bird won't be able to climb there to get you. You just wait at the very top. Once the bird stops moving, you just sort of throw it That gives you the red branch. Yeah. Ask our runes? Where's that yeah. one? It's right below us. Oh, gotcha.
Get me out of here! <laughs> and you just run past it and you go into the teleporter. Yeah, yeah, I just, uh... Just I, like I, that. I, I, I uh, did steps out of order. I jumped off my horse and then ran around them. I think you're supposed to run around them then jump off the horse. But, you know, for science. Oh, yeah, gotta make it easy, you know? <laughs> That's right, I gotta get my horse now. Uh, are you doing anything at that fire? Nope. Just want to make sure that you get it. Oh. Yeah, I think I think if you rest at it, I get it. It's just if I die, that I, I don't spawn there. Unless I rest. Okay, so now... We need to go... Oh, Can we wait. jump to the other side? We never We never. We never got the, the seed. The we map. never got the... Or the seed, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, we can go do that real quick. And then, where's the map? Oh. Right down here at the end of the uh, road. Gotcha. This is the easier way to go. Um, to find everything, because it's like straight lines. Yeah. Right? Oh yeah, I'm still looking this way. Oh. Yep, I see it now. Are we running there? Okay. Yeah, might as well. Teleporting isn't going to give us that much more time, so... No. There's a finger reader crone up here. Yeah. In this little bridge. If you're into the lore or whatever, you can, read that. You can talk to her. She tells you a little bit about Raya, I believe, and like what happened um, when Radagon left. Vermont. Yeah. Yep. There's a smithing stone too in here, which we don't need to get, but you know, save us a little bit of money. A lot of running around in the setup, but this game is massive, and we're going to be cutting it down to about a five-hour experience total. Yeah. Uh, um, if we want to do all remembrance, it's going to be like eight. Yeah, uh, we could we could probably just get through the game and then, you know, figure it out from there. Well, I don't again, know if you run up just this side right here and then fall down, the dragon never aggro's. So you pick up the key and then you can just teleport away. So go back to Raya Lucaria Gate.
now we're gonna go get EG. So you can run over here and you can pop and you can either land on the rocks uh, or anywhere over here on this stuff. Yeah. You don't die. But I think they might have patched it so as long as you jump from there you don't die. But yeah. I always still try to land on the rocks just in case I'm wrong. <laughs> yeah. The game has never had any weird deaths. Not once. And then from here, we're just going to go get the grace by EG and then continue on. We don't have the runes required Should yet. Okay, well let me just mount my horse. Cool. Okay, there we go. Actually, we could crack runes and get them, but... Yeah, I have a lot of, I have a lot of runes. Uh, I'm going to get this grace so that it's near the balloons. Uh, where it's teleporting us to is on the other side of Lyernia. Yep. There's a grace right here by this map. And if you look off in, into the water, you can see there's these balloons. Every one of those balloons that you pop will give you a, uh, a little rune fragment thing that's worth like 2,000 pieces. Yeah. You don't even have to fight any of the enemies either, it just drops it. When you shoot it from the sky. And from here we go around the ruins on the outside so as not to disturb anything, and... So what's up to EG? I'm oh, sorry, we can't sell things to him, but... We cannot. But it's okay. Oop, I probably made him go away when I sat down, huh? That's fine. Uh, are we waiting to level up? Something. Um. Oh yeah, we can level it to level two right now, plus two. Right yeah. Now. Correct. Something else. Strengthen two. Then later on we're gonna buy the Smithing Stone three and four from them, which takes is like worth ten ten grand. Yeah. There's so a we mushroom. Okay, before we do it, and then once oh, crap. we're done Sorry. with it, uh, once yeah. we get three and four, we'll already have five, six, seven, which we're gonna get all from Volcano Manor. Eight and nine, which we got off of. Uh, Caleb. And, uh, yeah, and then you go and play. We are going to kill one boss before then, but it's not a real boss. It's more like a sweet run. <laughs> Alright, so over here there's St. Tr Trina Lilies. And more mushrooms. We get all the mushrooms. I only saw one Trina Lily. There's four more over here. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Sorry, I thought there was some already. I don't remember. Okay. Yeah, so there's five St. Trina Lilies total there, along with the mushrooms. Clearly, I'm not a speedrunner. Up here, we don't need this grace. We'll just grab sacred tear. Just pop the hole in the wall. And because, you know, I'm so used to being a no death runner, um, there's a rune arc up over here that I normally skip, but because we're most likely not going to be no death, yeah, well, I think we've already uh, blown the no death run already, but yeah. Yeah, I'm saying, like, especially after we use a rune arc. Yeah. yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> it's pretty hard to die going up there. Yeah. I was always afraid that we were going to bump into each other and then just both die. Yeah, it was possible. You're right. Uh, so if you want to continue more setup, like, again, we already have a ton of unnecessary setup here, like, we have way more pots than we need, we have way more uh, tiers than we need, like, all that sort of stuff. You can go get another tier up in the, um, Insane Village, 
Yep. Uh, off to the right, instead of coming up here to the Pectus. Yeah, he's talking about over this area. You can kind of go up. Yep. Okay. Alright, go ahead and send us on up. Here we have to put into our physics right now. That's right. Flasks. Oh, I guess I had a couple sacred tears. Oh, I guess I <laughs> have a few sacred tears. So we're going to switch the strength dot for dexterity, and we're going to keep the green spell. Yep. Now, we're going to go kill another mini boss. Quote unquote mini boss. Speed bump? Yeah, it's pretty weak. My experience usually when I start getting too cocky, uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know. It's hard to say. I don't think this boss will do that. But. I don't think this boss is able to fight to like hurt you. No. Oh, you know what we never did. We, we, never, we never got a golden bow. Yeah. Dagger. No, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Oh shit. That's whatever. Fuck, fuck it. Need to get my stamina back. Oh, jeez. Okay. Yeah, even without gold. <laughs> yeah. I had a dodge. It was, it, it was a little bit more rough. Normally, the the queen doesn't literally do anything back. Yeah. But ritual sword talisman is great for our build. Right, should we try? So, uh, should we go back and get Golden Vow? Yeah, we should go. So we're gonna go back to Table of Lost Grace and the Round Table Hold. Noting you want to do this much earlier, so hopefully you're not <laughs> doing this step by step with us. But even though I'm pretty sure if you're playing it like a single player, that boss is still not that difficult. Uh, yeah, it's actually easier. So yeah. you're gonna purchase a dagger, just a regular old dagger. Yep. Then you're gonna take that dagger all the way over here. Our man's. Uh, what's this guy's name again? It's Hog or something like that. Hugh. Hugh. Goddamn. <laughs> uh, and then we're gonna put the Ash of War. On just the do standard. Standard. And then we're going to equip it in the same hand as Yeah. Because you have to in order to get the... Um, you don't have uh, to use, just switch hands back and forth. It's a pain. It's yeah. easier just to swap it. Also, too, later on, we're going to have a secondary dagger in our left hand anyway. I'm pretty sure the dagger I have looks almost identical to this one. So. In real life, yeah. All right, back to Elta's Plateau. Okay. I'm gonna take the spot off her map with the dragon. Okay. Oh, was it still there? Yeah. Not a big deal. I just got it on the way. Didn't even notice it. Yeah, because now we go to Volcano Manor. Yarp. Oh, uh, we always have to decouple for this. Yeah, that's right, that's right. So, any of these people who transport you places seem to not work in this mod. Yeah, I uh, guess we could kind of show it off quick. Oh yeah, it'll do this. Watch, it'll work. Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh wow, mine actually. Sometimes you can't even control it. So I'm gonna leave. So what we found out is walking straight toward the. Uh oh. Oh no. <laughs> well, oh shoot! I should have done this sooner because then, after a while, you just get you know. Oh no! I'm still walking. It, it'll take like a few seconds. Hopefully, it'll fix itself. Not. Still going? I'm warping away. Gotcha. Oh, I, for I forgot to tell you, I found a on, uh, I think it's Etsy, they have a uh, replica of the blasphemous blade that someone 3D printed. I think that's pretty su sweet. Gotta get a Reduvia, bro. I do like the Reduvia this far. But blasphemous blade is definitely uh, number one homie for me. I just need to find someone that can build the uh, icon shield or whatever. It's just a piece of wood with a, some painting on it. <laughs> yes, you correct. Should I just talk to Tanith while I'm here? Yeah, might as well. Yeah. I am Tanith, Ryas, a warrior. Perhaps will you do I accept? Rise with us. Enter now, you but the drawing room at the show. Then use the key. Okay. Uh, do you want me to, or I'll do you use your old world open? Uh, just one second, I'm talking to Tanith. Okay. Okay. I actually think this might be a good spot to stop and then, uh, I might run into the other room and talk to the NPCs. Wait, is there an NPC in this room? Are we supposed to do anything in the room with uh, with her in there, where Bernal usually sits, or no? No. Gotcha. I just went in there for nothing. Um, <coughs> yeah, I think that's a good spot to stop. Um, we have one last area, that pretty much Volcano Manor, right? And then we're on to Boss Lane. Yep, then we're on to Boss Lane. Cool. Well, thanks everyone for watching. Um, like, comment, subscribe. I'll probably have a link to... Uh, Freaky Nasty Switch channel if you want to check him out. Um, really good content creator for Magic the Gathering, and uh, he also plays some other games on there from time to time. So, yeah. All right, thanks.